Oh boy. It's finally here. It is finally here. The first teaser trailer for Thor Love and Thunder has dropped. I'm going to give you my thoughts and reactions right after the jump. If you haven't already, go ahead, like, share, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, ring that bell below. Anytime we have something, you'll be among the first to know. You know, it's funny. This is a trailer uh, that has been highly anticipated. It has been trending from week to week, saying, oh, Thor Love and Thunder, where's it at? Give me that trailer. I need that trailer. Um, that next thing, is, it's kind of the issue with the Marvel fandom as a whole. Uh, we're always looking ahead as opposed to just appreciating what we have. But that's just the way that it goes. That's how we are now. Um... It sucks, I think, for this trailer, because no matter what we get, I feel like the anticipation is so high that even if this is a fantastic trailer, which I don't know, but we'll check out in a second, it's not going to live up to the hype, unfortunately, because uh, we have built this up so high in our head. But let's see what Tyke has given us on this second go-round for him with Thor Love and Thunder. We're going to check out this teaser right now. And we will start it up now. Sorry, got some cool needle drops that were dropping in there. He's he's getting rid of fat Thor body. Breaking off from the Guardians. So it looks like if they're going to be there, only going to be at the beginning. <laughs> huh. You know, <laughs> for a teaser trailer, um, which are usually just is the word keys, um, you're supposed to kind of feel something, like a little bit of draw to it. I don't know who cut this teaser trailer. This feels, even as a teaser, very underwhelmed and very underfinished. Um, look, it starts the setup of saying that we get Thor from where he was la where we last saw him. That's, I guess, the whole premise of this teaser. Is to see where Thor was last at with the Guardians and being overweight. Him trying to figure out who he is as a person and moving on to his next path. But from what I gather from what everything has been showing and what we've been talking about with Thor, Love, and Thunder, the goal is that Lady Thor, or we'll just call her Thor because that's who she is, but like Jane is the person who takes over the mantle, and we don't get anything about her to the last five seconds button, and I'm going to be honest with you, that last five second button reveal wasn't, did nothing for me. It was very underwhelming. Uh, I'm probably going to get some hate for that. I'm a Marvel nut, I love Marvel, but that teaser did absolutely nothing for me. The tone still feels the same, I'm going to see it obviously, but, and it looks stunning. Like there's some shots in there that look absolutely beautiful, and I'm excited that Chris is back in it. I love the sort of rapport that we have with with uh, Quill and, and, and Thor, uh, um, but that all, all of that seems like that comes from the very beginning of the film. And that we saw nothing that happens after that moment, which sometimes is great. But if you're trying to get me into the seat, the fact that we didn't see Christian Bale, the fact that we saw a half of a second of, of um, Tessa, not in uniform, not in costume. And then we see Jane at the very end with a very underwhelming shot in darkness that just didn't look as cool as I think they thought it did <laughs> in the shot. Um, yeah. 
for the first time in a very long time, that was a teaser. Now, granted, it's just a teaser. It's not the full trailer. It's not telling us plot points. That's not what a teaser does. But for, for the first time in a very long time, I have a trailer from Marvel that I just I, I don't like. Like it did didn't tell me anything. It didn't it didn't do anything for me at all. Uh, some of that, like I said in the very beginning, could be because of the hype. But I I do a good job of separating myself from the anticipation. Um, I can imagine the folks that are like super that were super amped for this trailer. They're probably super underwhelmed. For me, I'm just like, oh, that was fine. Uh, I look forward to whatever they give us in the full trailer. So now that's where my brain is. Like, oh, cool, that's a cool teaser. Doesn't really do anything for me. I hold out hope that the full trailer does a better job of kind of getting me ready and anticipate. I think it feels like this is a trailer that they just cut and put together real quick because people keep asking for it. But all right, cool. I don't know if we can go all the way to Doctor Strange before we put this trailer out. So here's just a little teaser to shut them the hell up. That's the only thing that this feels like, because this doesn't feel like this was an actually cut teaser to do anything about enticing us for this movie. And I think we're gonna get the full trailer at the end of Doctor Strange 2, uh, which could be the sort of saving grace for this. People are gonna go see this no matter what. That last one did so well, the tone was good. This one still looks visually appeasing. It's just that, if this, is a, if this is a film that is going to have Jane being so prominent, we should get more of her in the teaser than just at the very end. That's just my thoughts. What did you guys think about this teaser? Go ahead and leave your thoughts and comments in the comments below. If you haven't already, you can follow us on Twitter at HollywoodADI. Or you can hit us up with email at HollywoodAlreadyDigit at gmail.com. We also have a podcast with the same name. It's on Google Podcasts, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, any other place podcasts. We're there. And like always, I got my ticket. You got yours. Thank you.